Hey everybody. I wanted to come on and share how I am working today. I am getting ready for our Harry Potter wax collection that will be coming out on September 1st along with our Harvest collection. So how I got these is last season when we had the warmer presale, the Hogwarts Castle presale. Um, I personally, I'm, I love my Harry Potter. So of course I bought one and then I bought the bundle that came with the four pack of wax. And I never warmed it because honestly, I didn't want to open the package. <laughs> that's how crazy I am but um, I knew I had to do it now because I need to start getting my customers excited about Harry Potter this is a big release you guys we have a lot of customers who love Harry Potter and um, I mean th this is just fabulous so what better way to get them excited about the harvest collection and especially Harry Potter and everything else that's coming and to give them some samples. So that's what I'm doing today. So um, when you get the collection, you get all four of the bars and they are each of the houses. So Slytherin, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and Hufflepuff. Um, what I have done is, and I shared the Canva template already, but I made up this flyer and on the Canva template, you'll see it's like a full sheet of paper. And then so I just printed it out and then cut it. So it was in three individual things per page. And so this Canva template is available for you. Remember, all you have to do is change out your QR code. Or if you don't use QR codes, you want to put your website and your name or your phone number, whatever you want to do, do that. And then change your picture or your logo or whatever it is that you use. Everything else though is already done for you. So this gives you the description of each one of the houses or each one of the scents. And then down here, it tells them four fragrances, one for each Hogwarts house, packaged in a steam, steam trunk inspired box, that's this, featuring a red wax seal that you get to break upon opening. Um, it includes each one of the fragrances. And then I added, um, purchase individually for $6.56 each or purchase the collection for $24, right? So I want them to know what it is. And then, like I said, each one has the description on it. So you guys have this, you can use that. Even if you aren't that skilled in Canva, you can pull this up and all you have to do is click on these two things and just delete. And then if you want to just delete it and then save it and then print it out and then put your sticker or you know your stamp whatever it is that you uh label your things with when it goes out the door so don't over complicate this okay all right so that's what i did first right printed those out cut those out those are ready to go then what i did is i just went um i actually went on pinterest and i found a logo and that's exactly the same logos that i used in this so if you want to save them from this um, template on Canva that I sent, then you can do that or just find your own. And so then I printed them out. This was a sticker sheet of 24. They're Avery labels. That is all I use because it's so stinking easy. All I have to do is go to Avery.com, put in the template number, it pops it up, and then I put what I want to print and then print. So that's all I did to get the stickers. Um, I am using these, I wanted to just do my clear bags. These are just two by three bags. They are self sealing, but I really wanted them to give, I wanted to do more of an experience. And so, um, what I did is I of course put a sticker, right? Of each one. Then I, well, I went through and I cut up just some bars or two cubes of each one. I just used a knife and my cutting board and just ch -ch 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 all the way through them. Um, and in fact, when I did it, I even made a reel so I would have that to be able to use for marketing and things like that. 
content, right? Content, we're on social media, people. Um, so then I just added a piece of each wax in one of these little bags, right? Now, I wanted to actually heat seal the top of each of these. Here's the thing. I have a heat sealer. It's a little handheld one. And I tried it and it was not working. So I replaced the batteries. It's still not working. So what do you do when something doesn't work out? You pivot. <laughs> so I literally went into um, my bathroom and I got my hair straightener. <laughs> Now, of course, you don't have to heat seal them. You could just self seal your bags or however you normally close them. That's fine. I just wanted to do it for this collection because, again, I just wanted it to be just a little bit different than all my other stuff that I send out. So I wanted a different experience for the customer. So that's what I'm doing right now is I am putting a sticker on, putting my wax in there, and then I'm actually just cutting off the top of the bag and then using my using my flat iron um, and just quickly putting it on there so it seals. So it is just a sealed little bag and each one. So this is Gryffindor, there it is. I've got some Slytherin that I've made up. I am a Slytherin house, so just FYI. There's my Slytherin, um, here's Hufflepuff. Like I said, it's just the little, the logos from the houses. And then Ravenclaw. There's Ravenclaw. So cute. All right, so I'll do some of these in real time so you guys can see what I'm actually doing. But, you know, it's pretty self-explanatory. All right, so I've got my bag. First things first. I'm going to put my sticker on. So that's Slytherin. I'm just putting my sticker at the bottom of the bag. And get a sliver of my wax out. I'm just putting that in there and then I'm taking my scissors and I'm cutting off about about that much there's my straightener I just hold it on there for a second and it is heat sealed so there we go boom um, so what I am going to be doing is like I said mailing these out you can mail them in those long envelopes if you want to if that's easier my whole goal is to get these out um, I might not be able to get them out with one stamp because they're probably going to be a little bit bigger I might have to do a little a little bit more than one stamp um, but I'll have to see when I put it all together uh, but of course if you're doing like felt samples you can of course get this out with one stamp and not have to fuss with it but again this is a big collection so I really wanted to put something different in this so that's why I'm I'm being a little extra with this that's the only reason um, so I'll figure out how I'm gonna put those in um, and get them packaged up but for now I just wanted to make the samples so where are we at here we've got Hufflepuff my printer is also running low on ink but you know you do what you gotta do, right? And I am just going to use it until I cannot use it anymore. So <laughs> I've got my replacement ink cartridges, but I'm like, mm, no, there's probably a still a little bit of juice left in there. I'll use it, I'll use it. Ink's expensive, right? Okay, cut that off. Little heat seal. I will tell you though, um, I think this week, um, I've got it, I've had it in my Amazon cart for a while. It's actually a heat sealer, like it's a bigger, it's not a handheld, let's put it that way. That little handheld worked for a little bit, but it is now dead, so. I don't, I mean, it'll, it'll work if you just use it for maybe small progress or projects, but yeah. Like I said, I just wanted it to be a little bit different than all the other stuff that I send out. It's special. It's a big release, man. It's Harry Flipping Potter, for goodness sake. I want them to be excited. Um, I'll probably add in something fun in the mail-outs as well. 
Um, I believe I still have from last season when we did the castle release. I, uh, I got some Harry Potter temporary tattoos and I would, I sent out, um, for everybody who ordered the castle or just the wax, um, I sent them some happy mail. I actually hand wrote and drew, um, a Marauders map. If you've seen the movie, then you know. If you haven't, then I highly suggest that you, you go do some homework, watch a movie. <laughs> That's homework for you. So you know what you're talking about with your customers, right? <laughs> so that one's a little thick. See, that's the only problem when you're cutting them like with a knife like that. Sometimes I get them a little too thick. It's okay though. I can cut it down more. The whole point is for them to be able to really get a good smell from each of these scents um, because they are each very unique. I will say that. Um, I probably, <sighs> Ravenclaw is good, Slytherin is good, Gryffindor would probably be my third, Hufflepuff is my least favorite, but that's only because it is more like of that bakery scent, so it's a little too sweet for me, um, so that just means I'm definitely not a Hufflepuff. That's okay, to each their own, right? And you see, I've just used two cubes to slice these up, just so I can get some little slices. Um, but I've still got plenty more if I need to do more samples, or you know, I could actually warm them. I mean, I bought them for me, but now that I'm using them for samples, they have now become a tax write-off. <laughs> so, I guess that works, right? Whatever we got to do in our business. That's what we do. All right. Gryffindor. Gryffindor. And if you're curious, I'm actually out here in my kitchen. I just needed a break from my office. I've literally been in the office all day long. So, um, yeah, I'm just literally sitting here. Hero is. Oh. Oh, there he is out there. Yeah, he's still overseeing everything. Don't you worry. He takes very good care of me and keeps a close eye on me. So sometimes you just need to change a pace or a change of scenery. And like I said, after being in my office since 1030 this morning, I just need it out. And this is my last thing before I start dinner because it's, a, well, it's getting close to six o'clock. So I'll be doing dinner here soon. So. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. I'm really excited about Harry Potter um, because last season when we had the castle, I had a lot of people who were very interested in it. Um, and now that we've got some, the other warmer, we've got the platform nine and three quarters um, or the Hogwarts Express, I guess, warmer. Um, which I, yeah, I'm going to be getting that one. Um, of course, we've got the beautiful Hedwig that those of us who went to SFR, we actually got Hedwig as one of the giveaways during general sessions. So I've got Hedwig. She is in my office and she is super cute. I will say that. Um, yeah. The whole collection's amazing. And, oh, oh, there's another Harry Potter scent, which is the Wizarding World of Harry Potter scent. Um, that one is brand new. We didn't have that one when we first released the castle. But I did get to smell it um, as it was warming at SFR because in the product expo, um, that's where they have all the new products out so you can look at them that's where you know you've seen the in person pictures and things like that of people oh sorry can you see what i'm doing okay um the in person product so when you've seen pictures and wondered like you know how did people get those pictures already well that's because um they were there at sfr at the product expo um and so what they do is they take um just some warmers and they will put a scent in a warmer 
and get it warming and then it's like enclosed in like this big glass box um, and then you can they, they actually put like a little nose uh, emoji or whatever on it and so you can move the little window and there's a hole in the actual plexiglass and you just stick your nose in and you can actually get the smell of what it smells like warmed and this one this new Harry Potter scent oh my gosh it smelled flipping fantastic um, I I know I'm gonna have to get it but yeah it was amazing so I'm excited for that too but I don't know I wasn't necessarily planning on doing this project today but when Alice in Wonderland with that LTO I was just like all right what's our next LTO and so it's like hmm yeah Harry Potter I better go ahead and get on that so I figured I'd knock this out and I'm not doing that many I'm only doing um what did I do 12 because I only printed three sheets or no, four sheets of those. So that would give me 12 to get started. So what I am doing, and I think I shared, yeah, I did share that in my Canva template post um, in my VIP group, doing a poll, asking people if they, you know, are Harry Potter fans. Um, of course, I'm gonna reach out to the people who ordered from me when it came out originally last year. Um, but anybody who answers that, then I am going to be sending them out some samples. And so I'm just gonna, you know, start with these 12 and see where it goes. That was one of the things that I talked about on happy hour last night, you know, IPAs, income producing activities in your business. It's only an IPA if you do it and use it. So <laughs> I, was, I was somebody who I would sit here and make like, you know, 50, 60 samples, but I never ended up passing them out or mailing them out. And at that point, that wasn't worth my time, right? It's just sitting in my house, it's not making me money. And uh, I don't know about you guys, but I'm kind of here to make money. I mean, I love what I do, but <laughs> I, I, need, I need to make some money. This is my job. This is actually working out pretty well. I do still want the heat sealer though. It is on my Amazon list. <laughs> Gonna get it. Gonna get it on Thursday. So next time I go to do heat sealing, I won't have to use my flat iron. So I'm definitely gonna have to clean this thing off before I put it on my hair. That's for sure. I don't want my hair to smell like plastic. I do have it on the lowest setting though, so hopefully you know, it's not getting super hot. All right. This one and one more. Just making sure it gets sealed at the top there. The last one is a Slytherin. There we go. Hmm. Yeah, Slytherin's my favorite scent out of this collection. I really like it. Which, like I said, worked out well because I am Slytherin. So, there's that. Yay! Okay. Got my scissors over there. Let me put my cutting mat over there. I just do that so I'm not getting my counter all messed up or table, whatever it is that I'm working on. All right. All of this stuff, all these bags and stuff, these are in my Amazon list. Um, so if you're wanting bags like this, you can get those that way. Um, so I've still got, still got some in here that I'll need to be getting out, but I'll save that for another day. After I get these first 12 out is when I'll do another batch of 12. And the reason I'm just doing the 12 is for one, I got three sheets per package and 
these stickers. These are one and a half by one and a half squares on Avery. It's number 22805. Um, and so there's 24 on this sheet. So the math worked out. Can you believe it? The math worked out. So I'm just gonna do them in groups of 12. So I'm just gonna do these 12, get them out the door. And then if I need more, I'll do another group of 12. So that way I'm not over sampling unless I need to. And it, again, saves me some wax to warm as well. All right. So, oh, I can turn off my, turn off my, my flat iron or my um, heat sealer as it's being used now. Um, I think, I'm trying to decide exactly how I'm going to send these out. Um, if I'm going to just do the long envelopes, which I do have some. Um, actually, I think what I might do is I might order, because um, I only have a color of yellow in those longer envelopes. I might get the black ones and put these in the black ones. And I'll share the link, but that's on Amazon. I mean, you can get them in any color you want. but. I, think I might do that because then I can write with my white pen I'm crafty like that right so um, write in my white pen and address them um, and then put you know one sample of each house I don't even know I might I mean depending on how it looks on the envelope um, I might use like glue dots and actually glue them down or I might not, I might just, or I could put them on the back, I guess. I don't know, I'm gonna have to play around with it and just kind of see which works best. Um, I mean, that would work actually. So I might do that and then that way on the front, I mean, those, those would be like blue dots on the back and then on the front they'd have their description. And that might sit a little more flat in the envelope as well so there's that and the tattoos like I said I've got some temporary tattoos left over from that I sent out in uh, Harry Potter Happy Mail last time and so I might go ahead and get those out and include those in just as a fun little gift um, or something for them to have for this fun collection so here we go I've got my samples so excited to get them out the door. You know, I love using the um, smell proof bags, but if you're gonna use cellophane, um, that's another reason why I kind of wanted to try and use the heat sealing method for this, because this way these scents, each, each one of these I will say are pretty darn strong. Uh, but this way when they're traveling, um, they're not gonna get all mixed up with each other. So when they actually open each little package, they should get, you know, it shouldn't be contaminated or something. Uh, <laughs> smelling like another scent. So here we go. All right, guys. Well, that's how um, I'm working today. Like I said, I've been in my office for most of the day. And uh, yeah, I just needed, I needed a change of pace. I needed a change of scenery. So why not come out here? to the kitchen with all the natural light and just work in a different area. Sometimes you mix it up. So here we go. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye.